Hello YouTube, Bowtie Media here, and it is that time of year again, the end of the year, December, where it is time to vote for the best of 2022. And part of the season starts with Monster Cat, the Monster Cat voting for best of 2022. Uh, we're gonna be going through my kind of voting, and I'm not sure if I do this kind of right or if it's the best way to do it, but I kind of just feel it out. I kind of just, I don't really have a set number that I'm going in with or the set songs. I kind of just, you know what? Just gonna feel it out. Just gonna feel out how it goes. So let's get into it. Let's get started right here. Voting done. Oh, okay, you just, whoa, how do we? Oh, what the? I just have to hit next and go, oh my gosh. Okay, this is not in alphabetical order or any order. So I'm kind of confused, but uh, okay. Let's <laughs> let's just hop into right here. Okay, uh, got, okay, 15 songs, one of 15. So guide, Guiding Light, I absolutely loved. Um, we'll maybe have to go back and, and look at some more of these. <laughs> oh, Acid House, yeah, maybe not. Um, Lies and Deception was not bad. I uh, didn't like the uh, the X Saga too much. Breath Fresh Air was not bad either. Wonder Years wasn't too bad either. But uh, we're gonna keep going. How many pages are these? How do I know how many pages there are? There's gonna be so many songs in here. How do I even know if I'm gonna? Oh, this is interesting. Uh, Life Sleeper Remedy. I guess you really are just supposed to search for the song. Um. Oh, Soyuz. I actually really liked Soyuz a lot. Um. I know it's not a super loved song, but I I really did. So I did not like Back to You. Sorry, uh, October wasn't too bad. Uh, Eagle Rock, Drift, Heart, um, Grimoire, eh, no. Nevada Lo-Fi, nope, sorry. Dreamer VIP was good, but I think there's better ones on that. So we might add some of those. Uh, Cookie from Space was great. Uh, I'll, may, I'll add it in now, and do I, can I replace something after? Like what, Like if I, if I wanna replace a song, it's, oh my gosh. Okay, this might be interesting. So let's, let's go to that. Let's see what happens. Uh, all we needed, I I liked, but not a ton to be in the top. Umbra was good. Nocturnal, I really liked too, actually. But Industrial Strain, Come With Me, The Favorite. Hold Up is definitely for sure making it for me. Blue was good, but I don't think it's top tier for me. I don't think it's um, best of the year for me personally. Uh, Sweet Illusion Maze, I love you. Dead Man Walking, 100% will make it. Uh, not a question, not a doubt in my mind. Uh, it will be up there. Warp, good. Uh, pretend, actually, really liked um, Pretend a lot. I really like Cold, actually. I'm a huge fan of um, of Cold from Leah Culver. Be Here, I did not enjoy. Uh, let's see, we can see Straight was kind of solid, too. Parallels was solid. Uh, I miss you. For me, VIP, I think my only one will be the, um, the last track. What was it? I can't remember the name of it right now, but I'll remember when I see it. Uh, not Carousel, uh, Nimbus, sorry, Cloud Cage, not voting for you. Blue Eyes was actually good. Um, I liked In Vain too. Overcast was solid. Japan, VIP was okay. Uh, but let's see, Oasis, Billy on Mushrooms, good too, but not, I think, top tier for me. Did I actually just add another song there? I'm not sure. I actually really like 505. I think we'll put it in here for now. We'll see if I come back to that and kind of change it. Uh, Double Tap, I didn't like as much as some other people did. Out of the Dark will 100% make the list as well. It will be the only No Mana one, I think, for me. Uh, I like the other two tracks, but that one was definitely, I think, miles above uh, the others. So North, actually, I like from Liam Thomas, too. So uh, let's see. Elixir. Ooh, Elixir and Nectar, both solid. I could see both those making my list. Fake, not bad. Uh, Starlight was good, but I like, Guiding Light, I just think, is so much better. So I would I would rather put that in. Even though I couldn't, I can't put in both, but uh, Nectar, I think has to make it too. So I think we have to put these two. So let's keep going here. Space is great, but I I don't like it as much as some of these other songs. Um, so uh, Full Assault, almost 4 a.m. Ooh, almost 3 a.m. I really enjoyed. Uh, I liked it better than 4 a.m. But huh, yeah, maybe if that shows up, I might put that one in there. I As much as I like the Cloud Nun and Direct, uh, or sorry, the Cloud Nun and Frenzy P, I... I don't think there's anything I'd actually add in here. Um, I don't. I don't. Sadly, I don't think there's anything I add. They were all solid, but not anything like insane. Uh, Bloom, good too. Circles, grit. Ooh, I'm gonna pass on grit for now. We'll see if I have to come back. That that would be one I would put. Yeah, from here. That's what it was. The from here VIP. That was one I think for sure we'll add. That one was solid. I'm, I'm I'm interested in how many pages there are left here. Is, is this going? I don't think it's by order. I actually really like Dilemma more than most people did. Yesterday was good too. Autumn Leaves was okay. Mo <laughs> moment. The Oh, did we already pass the Worlds remix? 
yeah, it's, I don't even know what order this technically is in. This is, doesn't really make sense for me, the order. Forget About Me was okay. Nocturnal I actually really liked. That would be another one and maybe I'll come back to. Maybe I'll come back to Nocturnal and Grit. I think the two I might come back to. Uh, bitch. <laughs> uh, just Dance. There's another one I might have to come back to. Okay, almost 3 a.m. I think takes it. We'll go on for sure. Easier. Airborne was great too. Rad was pretty solid. Ooh, the end jack uh, track was actually, I really liked, um, I can't remember the name of it right now off the top of my head, but it, I'll remember it when I see it. The end jack. Oh, I can't, I literally can't remember what it, the name of it exactly. More to give VIP. I actually really like too. So I'm going to put this in for now. Ooh, emeralds is great too. Oh, this is going to be tough. Uh, interesting. How many more do I have here? Two more. I have two more. Aurora was great. Stained Glass, I liked, but again, it, it's the best, I think, from that EP. But I just, I, it's not enough for me to make it to, to the best of list for me. Tarantino, I, actually, Tarantino probably is my favorite track from the, uh, from the EP. Eula was good. Not, I think, best of for me. Particularly, I did not like Drive You Crazy at all. Uh, Raise is another kind of good one. Business as usual. Ooh, good for me. How did I forget about good for me? Oh, and that's it. That's it. Okay, wait, what is the NJAC track I'm thinking of? Can I just search NJAC? Oh, I wish you'd try. Oh, that one was good. I really liked that track. Um, and I'm so shocked for a Silk song how much I enjoyed it. Um... But which ones did I say earlier? Emeralds was up there. It was grit. Oh, I'm going to put this in for now and just see how I feel about this. Okay. Guiding Light, Soyuz, A Cookie from Space, Hold Up, Dead Man Walking, Cold, 505, Out of the Dark, Elixir, Nectar, From Here, Almost 3 a.m., More to Give, Good for Me, You Said You'd Try. Am I okay with this? Do I like a grit? Do I want grit to be on here or emerald? Soyuz is good, but I don't know if it's... Oh, I think I would actually replace Soyuz with... Um, I think I'd actually replace Soyuz with, uh, the, with emeralds. I think I would replace Soyuz with emeralds. And I, as much as I really liked a cookie from space, I might have to top this one out for maybe even grit. Blue was good, fly was good, but I think it just dance. Let's let's put this in and see how I feel about this. How do I feel about this? Guiding light, hold up, dead man walking, cold 505, out of the dark, elixir nectar, from here VIP, almost three, I'm more to give VIP, good for me. You said you'd try emeralds and just dance. Is only one of these songs uncaged? Oh no, dead man walking's uncaged, isn't it? And 505 is on cage, and Deadman Walking is, and, and oh, good for me is probably on cage too. And one Silk, and then 11 Instinct. I think this is my list. I think this is my list. I think I'm, I think I'm good with this list. I think I'm happy with this list. So let's, uh, let's hit submit as much as, yeah, I maybe could go back, but uh, let's hit submit. This is your last chance to change them. Nope. I'm hitting submit. So let's see what, uh, I can tweet my picks. I can. Um, oh, uh, so we're not showing them this year. They're not showing the voting beforehand. I like that. I was actually, I'm kind of happy they, they are doing that. So I'm, I'm happy they, <laughs> they're taking notes from years past and they're, they're not doing it. So, um, yeah, but, uh, let's, uh, let's see, you know what? I'm actually going to take the fan survey. I did this last year and I think, I think it'll be interesting just to hear my commentary. So if you want to stick around and it takes two minutes uh, to hear my kind of, um, yeah, my thoughts and stuff. Are you a member of the official Monster Cat community channels on Discord and Reddit? I am indeed. Is there anything you'd improve about the Monster Cat Discord groups or other channels? Um, you know, I'm not super active is the problem. I'm, I, I have, I'm on the channels and I guess Reddit, but I'm not super active on it other than maybe the, the I'm very active on Reddit, not on the Discord or Facebook groups for sure. But anything to improve. Honestly, I'm, I'm okay with the way it is right now. Um, I don't really have anything in particular. Uh, I, I, I'll just, I'll say that, uh, nothing I can think of. I am in, or I don't actually, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like do stuff. I don't actually participate uh, a ton in the, um, in the, f in these forums. 
my my commentary and my co- talking about Monster Cat is, is these videos. It's it's this. I don't really go on the forums as much. So, would you be interested in smaller uh, Monster Cat events that include community based activities? Yes, absolutely. I would be very much in. I would love that. Those are great. Which cities would be interested in attending Monster Cat events? Um, I would say Vancouver. I am. I would go down to Vancouver for a ton of these. So it's, it's great that they do the the compounds and stuff. So I sadly miss it the last couple of years, but uh, I would uh, I would say Vancouver. So. Let me see. Uh, which act would you most like to see perform? Uh, how many do I pick? choose? Five. Uh, I would grant 100%. Um, would be one of my first choices here. Uh, of these, I actually would like to see Rogue. I'm gonna. You're gonna have a lot of instinct here for me for sure. Ellis, I think would be great to see live. Uh, Coven would be great live. Katie is phenomenal live from what I've seen. So I would love to see her. Um, her particular her vocals live. Uh, and one last one of all of these, I. Maybe Tokyo. I think I might pick, pick Tokyo. So those are the ones that I would uh, I would pick personally. Uh, what channels do you keep up with uh, in the Monster Cat release? Choose many. So I keep up on social media, uh, not on the Discord. I don't really keep up on with on new Discord. Although technically my Discord I would use to keep up with stuff. So I guess I'll count Discord. Definitely Reddit. Definitely YouTube. I have the Monster Cat texts. Um, wait, what's this specifically? What channels do you use to keep up with new Monster Cat releases? I guess technically I do this too, and I use Spotify. I use the the new playlist thing. I don't read the emails. I don't read the emails they send, but I, I do all of these things. I use them all. So, okay, that's a lot. That's, I'm, I clearly am a Monster Cat fan. Do you listen to Monster Cat playlists? Uh, the, the, the discography one, yes, but only for the newer songs. I don't listen to like the gaming playlists. I would say, no, I have my own. Uh, do you consider yourself a regular listener to any of our uh, shows? I'm not a regular. I go and listen every back now and then, but I would not say I'm a regular. So I was one thing you would change about our shows that would increase your interest in them. I think you guys do great shows. Um, I think their, their shows are actually really solid. I just, I just don't, it's not the medium that I've, I'm not a person that's been into podcast really or stuff. And so I would, I would, uh, oh no, I would say um, if they were, I would be more inclined to watch if they had a visual component. Um, uh, and I know like the Monster Cat podcast, uh, like, uh, or the, yeah, the Call of the Wild has like the visual stuff, but like, I mean like actual people talking or the videos of people. I'm a big, I like the video stuff a ton, not so much like just audio. So what genre do you think will take over dance music in 2023? Interesting. That's an interesting question. Cause, uh, my first thought was color base. Uh, but I don't think color base will really take over. I would say, huh? Cause future base is kind of gone now. Uh, future base came and went, had its moments. House kind of came and had its moments, but I don't know. I'm, I would say that's an interesting question. Cause I don't think it's going to be hard style. I don't think it's your trance. I don't think it's. I don't think it's future base. I would say um, some form of uh, like funk, like electro funk or something like that. Uh, I would say like an Ellis style. I, I would say that. I don't know. That's a, that's an interesting question. I like I like that question. I like that question. That was fun. So uh, create a type form. What does that mean? I just hit enter. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. But uh, yeah, so that has been uh, my votes and taking the survey for the best of Monster Cat 2022. Uh, let me know what you guys think of my picks and uh, of any of my thoughts on the survey. I'd love to hear any and all in the comment section below. But other than that, I'm Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.